angry guy here. And password bros have Western women nervous. Password bros have Western women nervous, and they have no one to blame but themselves. That's really the story here. Let's go ahead and jump into this because I don't feel sorry for them. And I know you don't either. But men put down their own women more than I've heard black men do it in pursuit of other women. And I just find it really disheartening. This is one of several videos that I've seen from non-black people finally speaking up about how black men talk about mistreat, put down black women. Are y'all not embarrassed at this point? And if this doesn't apply to you, then you shouldn't be triggered. I'm saying non-black people, people with no skin in the game are calling y'all out. Where is the shame? There is absolutely no group of men that publicly humiliates, publicly puts down their own women the way that black men do. Now, see, that's the part I can never understand about women making these videos. They always love to bring up the fact that black men are talking trash about them on their way out the door as they leave to another country. But to be honest, the passport men that I see making videos, they don't really say much. I just see these guys holding their passports up, you know, just showing their passports, you know, just telling guys to use it and go overseas. But I think a lot of these women are confusing the passport men with the black man of spear men as far as you know kevin samuels minister jab a lot of men who have said, said some real touchy stuff to black women so they feel some type of way about it so they're definitely confusing passport men with black male content creators that's talking about other stuff passport men are not fresh and fit so they don't even know how to separate the two because fresh and fit is see, that's the thing about fresh and fit fresh and fit is putting up with that nonsense Fresh and fit lets these lets these women know they're not putting up with the nonsense. I'm gonna straight up listen, listen here. All right, you gonna listen to me? Or else I'm gonna throw you off my show. All right, and they tell them, you know, Myron lets them know what's up. Myron lets them know what's up. Myron lets them know it's not a video game. All right, Myron lets them know it's not a video game. The only similarity is they're about to get played. Because the passport movement is something that they never seen before. So I think they're trying to put all these men in one big bundle. You don't hear white men talking about white women the way that black men talk about black women. You don't hear Asian men doing it. You don't hear Latino men, Native American. You do not hear any other race of men putting down their- White men got the hell out. White men, listen to me. These white men, mm, these white men snuck out of the country. They've been sneaking out like runaway slaves for at least 60, 70 years now. I was at 50 years, and then I get and then these white men, these white dudes, they hit me up like, hey, angry, listen, my grandma, my grandfather started doing this shit back in the 60s. What the fuck? What the fuck? I've been doing this, you know, like I've been doing this since the, I've been doing this since the 80s. My grandfather's doing this in the 60s, though. Like, what the f these men have been sneaking out for generations. So far, so far. I'm, I'm, I'm close to tra tracing these motherfuckers back to the 1800s. 1800s. That these white men, that these white men have been sneaking out of the country. This is the 1800s. How is this possible? Going to like fucking, going to like these unknown islands, like, and just settling down there and having and living their lives there. These motherfuckers have been doing this shit for a long time. I'm telling y'all, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if these men have been doing this shit since like the 16th. Since, since like, I was 16. This is like maybe the 1700s. Like, cause you know, they came to, came to America. Was it like 1623? So, you know, I mean, give it, give or take a hundred, 200 years. They, they've been doing this shit since probably about, since the, at least 1800s at this point. So, I mean, it's possible they've been doing this shit since the 1700s, and it's, they didn't just—they just didn't tell anyone. They go find themselves a little native, sh a, a little native, uh, native. Um, what do you call those? Little Native American, uh, you know, little Native American, um, Pocahontas-looking chick, and yeah, that was it. And they go and set, settle down, and you know, and and that's it. What is little short? What is little short chicks? What are little these, these poker hot? What are these little poker hot short chicks? Mm -hmm. Settle down with them, have a life out there. All right, these men have been 
no, 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 no. White men have been doing this. They've been doing it under the cut. They've been doing. I would say under the cover of night, but they've been doing it in broad daylight. They've been doing this shit in broad daylight, broad daylight. And there's a lot of black men that have been doing it too. A lot of black men that have been doing it too, but they weren't telling anybody. Mm -mm. All these men weren't telling anybody for generations now. I didn't say decades. I didn't say years. I didn't say decades. Generations. People have come and gone. I'm talking about your 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 your, your mother's generation, your your mother's mother's generation, your mother's 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 generation, your mother's mother mother mother's generation, and then some. They've been doing they've been doing this shit for for ages now. For ages now. For women publicly in the same way that black men do. Even when I was younger, I've been passed up by black men for white women. I've been told to my face by a black man, oh girl, you know I don't date black girls. I mean, listen, if they all act like you, it's understandable. But guys, with that said, I want to remind you, if you're enjoying these videos, you need to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. If you are, thank you so much. Turn on notifications. Never miss another one of these videos again. And like the video because it tells YouTube, hey, YouTube, we want to see more content from Angry Guy because he's fucking awesome. And if you want to show some love for the content, if you're like angry, I love you and I love what you're doing and I want to support what you do, I want you to, I want to help support what you're doing, then you know you can show some love by dropping some cash via PayPal, Cash App, or Venmo. All the links are in the description of the video. But we're going to go ahead and we'll jump back to this right now same men have tried to get men of other races to put me down as well and you know what's funny somehow even at a young age these other races of men knew it would be wrong to put down someone because of their race knew it would be wrong to put down a woman because of her race i for one am loving this trend where the very women that these black men fetishize are calling them out for their misogyny and their black women hate because it's about time and the things that some of these black men say they they are so harmful because it makes other races think, well, if this is what their own men think of them, then what's wrong with them? Like there must be some validity to all the things that they see they're out here crying their eyes out right now because they 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 really don't have anything left. These men have picked up, taken off, and they're going to greener pastures. And all these women can do is complain and cry and scream and shout as these men leave them. Like, this woman, she doesn't have a lot of options. She doesn't have a lot of options. She doesn't have a lot of options. Like, these men are gone. And they're not coming back. They're not coming. There's nobody coming to rescue us. It's, it's, it's literally Chad and Tyrone. And after Chad gets his hit, you know, Tyrone's going to come around. And he's going to let you know how it is. Like, listen, they'll put a baby in you, but that's a, but he's not raising it. Don't expect any child support. And if you try looking for him, his name is Tyrone, but that's not even his real name. All right? That's just, that's just what everyone calls him, you know, because he's so generic. All right, his, his real name is is Lashawn, but you don't you don't need to know that. All right, but you're never gonna find him. You won't be able to put his name down on the birth certificate. So welcome to single motherhood. These men are saying because their own men are putting them down. We don't do that, so there must be some truth to it. It's almost like you just don't want black women to be happy. You don't want black women to find love elsewhere. You just don't want them to find love at all. Because why not just keep to yourself that you don't want to date black women and allow us to find love elsewhere. But the truth of the situation is a lot of men talk trash about the women in their race. They may not do it online, some of them do, but when they get behind closed doors, they are not only talking trash, they are disrespecting these women. Let's not even talk about the way Middle Eastern men treat their women, and they're gonna help explain it a little better. Check out these TikTok videos. So do other races publicly put down their men and women? Let's talk about it. Well, we have large creators like Avanesh who put down South Asian women and pedestalized white women for his entire account. Also, we can go under anything tagged WMAF and read the comment section and we can see commentary on Asian women from Asian men. There's a number of videos of Asian women saying they would never date Asian men. And then list the most absurd, ridiculous reasoning. I've made a number of response videos to some videos like these. I've also made response videos about people disparaging dark-skinned women. There's even groups like libertarian guys and Asian wives that pedestalize Asian women. There are videos of Latinas saying they don't date Latinos because of the machismo that exists in their mm, culture. I know but that. Goes I know the that same one. Misogyny exists in every culture. Yeah, that's why I don't find videos like this particularly productive. You hear Asian men doing it. You don't hear like. First and foremost, while I vaguely disagree with the original, original creator, I'm always going to encourage hearing black women out. And she has some points here, but this part specifically is just not true. Hang on. I was in an Uber just a couple months ago when a white man telling me that he his Filipino wife online because he's American. 
his words cause him too many problems. Said that white women whine too much and that black women have bad attitudes. Woo! There we go. So he was double dipping. He was double dipping. He tried them both. He said, this isn't working for me. I'm going to get the fuck out of here and get myself a Filipina. Oh, there you go, y'all. There you go. No offense. Said no offense to me. Look, it's like, no offense. Uh, as far as Latino men, you ever heard of the word machismo? They might not publicly humiliate their women, but they definitely would do it behind them closed doors. <laughs> and to be completely fair... The passport men are talking about all American Western women. They're not just talking about black women. Like, just let's just stop trying to say that these men are talking about just black women. They're talking about all of all Americanized American women, which is Americanized duty women. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Show some love. Let Google know. Let YouTube know that you want more of these videos. You want more videos from Angry. Say just just hit the like button. Like YouTube. We like this content. We want more of this content. Give us more. So YouTube will recommend more of this content. And then you can just, just keep watching more and more angry videos. And I keep making more and more videos. And it's like angry all the time. And, you know, it's like Rick and Morty. It'll be Rick and Morty forever. It'll be angry. It'll be angry forever. Guys, I'm going to put a link to this video that you're watching in the description of the video so you can check it out and finish it up on your own because I don't give I don't care. All right. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know what you think in the comments about Password Bros. Um, why Password Bros have Western women nervous. We'll talk, we'll talk more about that there. But otherwise, like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all rolls into MWA, men walking away, and cheers. Guys, I do so much for you. And, and what do you do for me? You don't show me the love that I deserve. You don't give me the respect that I deserve. All right. And you know how you can show love and respect with money. All right. PayPal.me, Angry Solutions, Cash App, you know, a Venmo. There's there's many different ways to show your love, you know, with your money. All right, you can you can show your love today with your money by using one of those services. Cheers.